Okay, this is going to be a very quick video. I've uh, written some code that ultimately is going to have a time delay flashing an LED on and off. At the moment, all that we have is code to turn the LED on and then turn the LED off and then go to the uh, loop label. Okay, so no delay routines in here at the moment. Uh, what I want to do though, I want to demonstrate how we can actually watch port B, RB, 4 bit being turned on and off. So to do that, uh, first of all, what I need really need to have is I need to have a break in my code. So there's, there's a break point, so I just click there. You can click them again to get rid of them. So wherever you want that break point, so I'll just have it there. And um, also I want to be able to view the value of uh, port B and maybe some other things as well. Now, although I don't use it very often, it is, I think, quite a nice feature if you go window and then you go debugging and you can view the IO view. So IO view is the one you want. So that was window debugging IO view. And you've probably noticed I've got an ultra widescreen monitor here. So I like to rearrange things. So I'm going to drag that, stick that over there like so. And you can also adjust this panel, this splitter on the panel. And so you can then say click port B and you'll actually see values for port B. So let's run the um, or debug the project now. So we're at the break point and you'll see at that point in time port B, port B, this one here. Uh, you can then click here and you can actually get to see uh, what the output values are. So it looks to me as though well, the outputs are all zeros at the moment. So let's now F7 and F7 again. And now you'll see that uh, RB4 is now set uh, because we've executed that line. So bit set file. So we set the RB4 bit. Next line that we're currently uh, waiting at this line. We haven't actually executed the line yet. So next, this instruction when it executes is going to bit clear file so it's going to clear RB4. So uh, let's let's do that. So I'll press F7 and sure enough it cleared. And then we are then going to go to the LED loop which is going to be that line again. So F7 and then it's it's cleared and then F7 and you can see sure enough that is turning uh, RB4 on and off. So that's quite a nice way of being able to view it. Um, what else? Uh, you could also view the TRISB register, a special function register, so you'll see that. Um, yeah, you can see each one of the bits and you can see that uh, TRISB4, in other words, um, TRISB RP4 is, has been set for output by clearing that, so that one's cleared. There, okay, so that one's cleared. Yeah, so actually I think it's... Um, this IO view is actually quite useful. Uh, what else could we look at? Um, the oscillator, maybe. Let's have a look at the oscillator. So we configure, in my code, we configure the um, internal oscillator. So these are the bits that I have configured there. Uh, let's just have a look at the data sheet again. So yeah, I have configured, um, where are we? Uh, yeah, I've configured uh, these these bits here, uh, one one zero to get four megahertz, and so OSCON. Yeah, I've configured. Yeah, this this um, this bit here is not implemented, so we've only got bits uh, zero to six, and we've set IRCF. We've set set and uh, cleared. So one one zero. So that is what I would expect because in my code uh, I want to set, set and clear. Uh, so one, one, zero. Okay, so that's um, quite nice actually I think. So just to uh, remind you again, window and we can go debugging and we can have a look at the IO view as well. Uh, in another video I'll show you stopwatch. I think that one's very useful as well for timing. Okay, that's it.